It's Professor Dave. Let's talk prepositions. He knows a lot about all kinds of stuff. Professor Dave explains. In Italian, there are words called preposizioni articolate. These are combinations of simple prepositions and articles. First, let's clarify what a preposition is. A preposition is a part of speech that describes a relationship between a noun and some other element in the sentence. They indicate a variety of ideas like distance, origin, purpose, and possession. For example, I am going to Colorado. She works for me. They come from Europe. So now that you've got a good idea what a preposition is, let's learn the most common Italian prepositions. A means to, or at, or in. Vado a Roma. Abito a Roma. Di means of. Il libro di matematica è molto caro. Da means from. Lui torna da Firenze. Su means on or over. Vieni su. And in means in. Vado in macchina. These are all examples of prepositions being used without articles. But Italian uses articles so often, these prepositions can also combine and contract with the article to form preposizioni articolate. These forms will need to be memorized. On the top, we place the articles il, lo, l with an apostrophe, la, i, gli, and le. On the left, we place the prepositions a, da, di, su, and in. Let's push the prepositions across each row to see how they combine with the various articles. For a, we get al, allo, al, alla, ai, agli, alle. For da, we get dal, dallo, dal, dalla, dai, dagli, dalle. For di, we first modify into de, and then get del, dello, del, della, dei, degli. Delle. For su, we get sul, sullo, sul, sulla, sui, sugli, sulle. And for in, we first modify into ne, and then get nel, nello, nel, nella, nei, Negli, nelle. Let's use some of these in sentences for context. Do un biscotto al bambino. Ai bambini. Allo studente. Alla mamma. Il gatto è sulla poltrona, sul divano, sui cuscini, sullo sgabello. Le chiavi sono nel cassetto, nel bagno, nella borsa. Some of these prepositions may already be familiar if you like eating at Italian restaurants. You may have eaten 
Una pizza ha i quattro formaggi. Pizza allo speck. Tortellini al prosciutto. Pasta all'arrabbiata. Risotto agli spinaci. Gelato alla fragola. In all of these cases, the prepositions mean with, as they tell you what's in or on the dish. Now that we know how these prepositions work, let's check comprehension. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.